All right, now that the fence is all done for our house, we are all ready to start on the next project, which is going to be building the steps going into the front door. Well, the steps and also the deck. Yeah. And as far as all this is concerned, just think pump house, but our front deck. What? No wanna... one's gonna know what that means. I know, it's gonna be a little twist. Yeah, we have some cool plans for it that we're excited to reveal to you all once it's all done. Still, still figuring <laughs> out how I'm gonna do it, but, uh, and also I'm waiting on some hardware to come in the mail, but I think it should be pretty cool once it's all done. So we're just starting on this front porch and then we'll also be doing the one for the back door coming out of the master bedroom. We're waiting on the back deck the reason why is because we need to finish up septic because the pipes go through there before we can get the whole deck built and everything. So for now, we're just going to start on this front one and get rid of this wobbly cinder block. <laughs> just ignore our little, uh, rope wrapper. Okay. yeah. I think I accidentally threw the centerpiece of this away like a really long time ago. I think when we were working on the actual foundation of the house. And yeah, so I kept getting in a knot, so I just tied it around a plastic bottle. <laughs> it's not pretty, but it does the job. Kind of like you. No. <laughs> um, is this in the right spot? What the hell did you sit on? I sat on my bed. I was sitting on the wobbly cinder block. <laughs> Yeah. Now you got a stain on your foot. No, I just washed these. Uh, solid as a rock. <laughs> Good. There's a pipe right here. Of course, the spot where we start digging there is an old pipe in the ground right there. <laughs> like, what are the odds? <laughs> Before I even got all the way through it, the fitting that was down there, I guess, broke. <laughs> Okay, so now that the front column is done, we're gonna work our way inside because I'm still waiting on some stainless steel hardware and I can't really do anything till that gets in. So inside, I'm gonna be starting on putting in all my electrical outlets, starting with our master bedroom.
Guessing Bear doesn't like the bull over there laying down. This is a big moment, you guys. We just ran the extension cord into the house, and this should be the last time that we ever have to do that. So <laughs> All right, before I start working with anything with inside this uh, breaker box, gotta kill the power. And power's off. In our ground. Nothing. Nothing. We're good. Look at this right now. Please. No, not you. The people. <laughs> Don't keep working. <laughs> we got Spencer, and this is usually how it goes. We got Bear Bear right in between us. Don't mind the blood in the corner of Spencer's hand. You just. Accidentally got stabbed with a screwdriver. Giving a quite literal meaning to blood, sweat, and tears went into this house. <laughs> all right, first outlet's all done. Let me go power it up, see if uh, we catch anything on fire. <laughs> Why do you always act like everything's gonna catch on fire? Yeah, I did. Oh my gosh. We're gonna test out the power <laughs> with one of our old lamps that we had in the barn. It's a little dirty, just ignore that. Moment of truth. Oh my god. All right, let's try this again. And... Yay! <laughs> Heck yeah! That's exciting. Okay, so last night after a couple hours of racking my brain, I realized my simple little mistake on why the breaker was tripping, the arc fault, arc fault breaker was tripping. These breakers are, uh, I've read that they're uh, pigtail compatible even though they're a plug on neutral. So there's an extra port on here and I thought that was for the pigtail itself. Well, and I thought you would just wire it like a normal breaker with the load side going to the breaker and then the neutral going to the neutral bar. Well, it's load side and your uh, neutral plugged into the same breaker. So simple little mistake, not a big deal. So, but now at least we have power in the house. Now that all the outlets in the master bedroom are officially wired and have power, we need to test them all. So we figured what better way to test them than with some Christmas lights since Christmas is this week. All right, here you go, Santa. Power on. First one's good. We're good. Good. Inside the closet. Good. The last 
last one. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I didn't know Santa was an electrician. <laughs> That's what he does the rest of the year. Oh, really? Gotcha. <laughs> Is this weird that we're just standing here with Christmas lights wrapped around us? Nah, it's totally normal. <laughs> you know, I should be the one wearing the hat. I'm the one with the belly. Oh my god. <laughs> you look really cute. Thank you. Alright, Bear, now we're gonna wrap you up in some Christmas lights, okay? Alright, let's try it. Okay, take them off of you and wrap, it, wrap them around him. I just want this to be known. This is not my idea. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Tons of people do this. All right, Bear Bear. Stay, 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 stay. Hold on. Oh, nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good boy. Bear Bear, you look very scary. <laughs> Go. Good boy. Bless you. Bless you. That was exciting. Good boy. Oh, you was so good. So we've been deciding on what we should do for this thumbnail, and I came up with a brilliant idea, and that was to wrap Mackenzie up in Christmas lights like a Christmas tree in front of her window. <laughs> I thought it was genius. She hates it. I don't like this idea. But let's see how it turns out. <laughs> I just have to stare out the window? Yeah, you you're... can't even see me. Imagine. I'm too short. I need to channel my inner tree. That's probably just about the same. <laughs> <laughs> we have like the same brain. Okay, 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 okay. Baby, do you not know where my head is? Lovey. Baby, let me just do this. Stop! You're Stop tree. hitting my head! You're a tree. You're a tree. <laughs> a tree that has hands. I need you to hold this one. <laughs> this is so weird. Baby, if you hit my butt one more time. What are you going to do? Lovey. You're tied up. What are you going to do? <laughs> Seriously, do you have no clue where my butt is? Is it like no, it just gets invisible to you? It's huge. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Now let me <laughs> let me go outside. <laughs> it's pretty. It's still pretty bright out here. I can see you. It's just it's the sun's still really bright. Yeah, you can move forward. You look like a Christmas tree. All right. Right now it's a little too light outside, so you're just going to have to stand there for like uh, 10, 10, 15 minutes. Screw 